Hi, I'm Allie Bierman, and I'm glad you came by today. Today I want to talk with you about the golden rule and why I don't think it's a very good idea. How you see your world is different from how I see mine. Your way works for you, and mine suits me fine. Let me point out the golden rule is not a useful tool. Huh? If I do unto you as I'd have you do unto me, chances are that neither of us would be happy. You see you like what you like, and you like to be loved your way, which isn't to say I don't love you. It's just I think how I do doesn't mean love to you. Maybe you like a home-cooked meal and a gift from the store that to you makes love real for me. I like to hear the words, I love you. A touch and a handmade gift means so much. Saying I love you while extending my hand to touch you wouldn't mean much to you. So forget the golden rule. Instead, do unto others as they want you to. Do unto others as they want you to. For many, many, many years, when I was married, my husband would give me gifts and be very, very disappointed when I didn't like them because he went out to the store and bought things that he liked and vice versa. I'm an artist and I create and everything I gave him was handmade and he'd open it not look very excited and tuck it away in a drawer. He didn't like handmade things. So I thought, oh, he doesn't love me, he doesn't appreciate what I did and he would tell me I didn't appreciate what he did. And all it was, was he was showing me love his way, and I was showing him love my way, and that doesn't work. Instead, ask the person what they like. Do they like to hear the words? Do they like a hug? Do they like a home-cooked meal? What says I love you to your significant other? Oh, and to your friends and your family and your kids, too. But let's start with your significant other, and you get real clear on what you need your significant other to do or say for you to feel loved. Enjoy a wonderful week. Pay attention to this. Get clear for you. Get clear for him or her. You'll change your lives.